Hello everyone, in this video we will be discussing about reference variables. A reference variable is essentially an alternate name which we provide for an existing variable such that any change made to either of those variables is reflected on both of those variables. How we declare a, re a reference variable is by putting the ampersand symbol in its declaration. So in this case, my ref variable will be a reference variable. Let's see how those changes are observed in code. So I have three variables a, b and ref. Uh, wherein a is initialized with value 11, b is initialized with a and ref is also initialized with a. Now what I do is I increment a by 1 and let's see how those changes are reflected on each of those variables. So since we increment a by 1, its value gets incremented by 1. b was initialized with the value of a and we are not making any changes to b, so b remains as 11. But ref is also increased by one, since it is a reference variable referring to a. What I do now is I reinitialize those values and I increment the value of b by one. So let's see what changes are observed. Since b is incremented by one, its value will now be 12. We are not touching a uh, in any way. So a remains as 11. Same goes with ref. Ref also remains 11. So any changes made to b are not reflected on a or ref. I again initialize those values. This time I make a change to ref wherein I increment its value by 1. So let's see what the changes are observed. Since b is not being touched, b's value remains 11 as well. ref was incremented by 1 which is observed here wherein ref's value is now 12. Since ref is a reference variable to a, the change made to ref is also reflected on a. So a also now becomes 12. With the help of reference variables, uh, we are able to perform certain functionalities during function calls. So there are two types of ways in which we pass values to a function. So it's called pass by value or pass by reference. What happens in pass by value is any change made uh, to the formal parameter, which is a in this case, will not be reflected on the actual argument being passed. So a will actually get will copy the value which it gets from its actual argument and any change we made uh, in these function block will be reflected on a itself but not on the actual parameter so we observe that here so what i'm doing here is initializing the value of b to 10 uh, before calling the function i print its value i call the function modify wherein i pass uh, b as an actual argument to that function and then i'll print the value of uh, b which is obtained after the function call. So before the function modify is called, we observe that b's value is 10. Since it's a call by value, we uh, a will actually get the value which b contains. So in this case, a will get the value 10. We increment a, but those since it was a uh, pass by value, b does not actually change. So b still remains 10. If in the function header we have a reference variable, any change made to this reference variable will actually be reflected upon the actual uh, argument which we are passing. So in this case, uh, I have b initialized to 10. I call modify reference by passing the value, uh, passing b. So a, a is a reference variable uh, which is now referring to b. So any change which we made to a should be reflected on b, which I observe by printing the values of b before and after the function call. And so we uh, observe that before the modify function uh, is called, b is 10. But after the modify reference function is called, b is now 11. Since this was taking uh, b as a pass by reference rather than pass by value. Thank you.